Right, so as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, this is something I've wanted to do for a long time and just never had uh, enough time to get into it. So it looks absolutely messy. It is just chucked together really, really quickly. Um, and the only reason I was able to get any of this done is because of this fine specimen over here, uh, my brother. Uh, we've been speaking about doing this for a very long time um, and he's done the vast majority of the grunt work on this so um, it's all thanks to him that we've actually managed to get it this far um, so just a quick rundown on it it is a 1.9 right 1.9 uh, diesel golf motor out of our lovely donor over here um, and it's as you can see on here it's got these um, copper manifolds um, on the front and on the back um, and we've had to cut the manifold here and weld it up um, just to get the correct separation in there. Um, it's still got half a bow housing sitting on it. Uh, that's just to get the uh, a good mounting point on it and um, also to encompass the, the flywheel and to have a starter sitting on it. So uh, we'll probably come back later depending on how well we can make it perform um, and just tidy a few things up, wiring and stuff, put a control panel on it, um, redo the fuel tank and um, just play around with a few extra things but um, to test it out we have the dishwasher vapor blaster on the back there um, and essentially what we've got going uh, is what I'd like to call the Mad Max vapor blaster setup. Uh, in future either we'll go to a 12 volt system in the dishwasher cabinet um, whether or not that stays on it I don't know yet um, <clears throat> or potentially We'll see what the windings are like in the alternator and see if we can use that um, to, to put out some alternating current. Um, <clears throat> essentially they come out in three phase, so I don't think we're going to be able to get enough current out of a single winding. Um, but there are, oh, we could potentially rectify that, so um, we may look into that later. But at this stage, it's just thrown on there. We've got an extension lead coming out just running the light uh, and the pump on that. Um, and I'll just shoot inside quickly and grab something to blast. I think there was something sitting here. Yeah, this will do. It's still filthy. Um, that's off another golf motor, so we'll put that in there. Um, I'll just show you I'm not cheating. Here's something else I've been doing a little bit of work on. It's trying to get these guns to work properly, so I've managed to get a good bit of improvement. We'll discuss that in another video. Um, but just so you can see, that's all that's in there, just that one and see how filthy it is so we're going to try and get this um this up and running um hopefully you haven't got any issues at this stage we um we messed around with it a little bit before um the only thing is we got something to lock that open with we just hold it just hold it um we should be all right we um did run the test actually we will need something let me just pause that Yep. Okay. Got another glow.
So that was a little bit terrifying. Just give that a rinse off. So the media is a little bit old in it, uh, and that gun's not perfect, but seems to hold up with the pressure quite nicely. You can see it's what it looked like before. There we go after. So there's still it's a little bit of silicon on there that it didn't bring off, um, but it just goes to show that uh, crappy old smoky diesel over there uh, seems to be working all right uh, as a compressor. So. We'll uh, address a few extra things with it. We've got to put on a better exhaust, uh, put on a control panel, um, and obviously uh, find a better better way of mounting a cabinet on there, whether it's that one or not, I don't know. Um, but as a proof of concept, seems doing pretty well. Uh, so there you have it, the Mad Max compressor and vapor blaster system. Thank you all for watching.